Hey guys, it's me, Legacy Temps. Today I'll be telling you guys how to get your kill streaks. Well, first things first, the gameplay. The gameplay here is with uh, 84 to 4 on hijack domination. The gun I'm using is the PDW with fast mag and suppressor. I have the wild cards perk 1 and 2 greed, allowing me to have 5 perks altogether. And they are ghost, hardline, scavenger, toughness, and dexterity. My score streaks are the stealth chopper, uh, open of reset, and the load star. Now anyway, back to what you guys are really here for, and that's how to get your high kill streaks. Uh, first things first, the gun. The gun you want to be using has to be uh, suited to your game style and the map. Uh, what I mean by this is that you understand the um, gun and it uh, helps with your playstyle. For example, if you're a rusher, you would want to use an SMG so you can run around faster, have the mobility and the fire rate to win in close range gunfights. Um, you also need to know its weaknesses, for example right there, the PDW is really really, uh, not really really bad, but it's pretty bad compared to all the other SMGs at close range. And I know, I also know that the PDW is not good at long range to a little bit on the middle range side because of the suppressor and suppressor lows the range obviously. So you need to know your gun and its weakness and its strength, knowing how to uh, use that strength to its best ability. Next up the perks. Um Ghost is arguably a must because nowadays people are calling it UAVs like hell. Um and UAVs are a little bit faster on this map. Shot out. Oh not map, I'm sorry. In this game because in a couple of seconds you'll it'll come back again and again. And again so and they stack up well too if you're just running UAV so yeah, you should use Ghost if you want to really, really try hard. Scavenger uh, is, in my opinion, a must. Um, if you have Scavenger, that means you can stick with the gun without having to pick up any other guns or any bad guns, etc. All you have to pick up is the Scavenger packs, which is really, really helpful. Um, you can have an extra gun there, an extra sidearm, and Scavenger packs will refill that too. It also refills up your grenades, your tactical grenades, all of that. That's really helpful. Um, Hardline is also pretty helpful because it it uh, reduces 20% of your points needed for your next kill streak, which is really really helpful. Um, for example, Blackbird, 20% of that is around 200, 250. So that's 250 less points you need to get, which is two and a half kills almost. <laughs> anyway, next up is the map. The map. Um, the map here is hijacked. And I'm using SMG, which is perfect for this map because it's a Close range map, not very long range line sights at all. So the PDW will win most gunfights. However, it won't win every because this map is map can be fairly point blank range, so the shotgun would probably do really really well, but not all the time. Obviously, um, you should use the perfect gun for the perfect map. For example, the foul is pretty decent on overflow because there are long range line sights allowing you to pick players off without any problems. Uh, next stop, your team. Uh, if you're playing with a team, a six man team or any man team, and uh, they know your playstyle, and uh, they know that you're the slayer, the person that gets kill shoots, they'll, they'll usually attempt to support you, uh, calling in UAVs, counters to help you out, and they'll also, some of them, most are willing to die and give you their gun if you need the ammo, but keep that in mind. Um, keep in mind that they won't do it all the time, obviously, because they'll probably be on the kill them. So, yeah, playing with a team really helps sometimes. Uh, next up is the kill streak. Kill streaks you should be rolling with, are obviously, the high kill streaks. A blackbird is a must. Um, the way I usually do it is stealth chopper, blackbird, and then the high kill streak like low star, swarm, whatever. Um, the V side is a must in my opinion because that V side will help you get to your next kill streak. No matter what, no matter what, it will help you get to your next kill streak. Um, because it's a black bird pretty much, and the only way you'll die is either you get yourself in a bad area and get killed, or by a grenade. That's the only way. That's the only way you'll die in a black bird design. Uh, next up, your playstyle. Your playstyle depends on obviously yourself. If you're rush, you you won't you won't get a lot of kill streaks. Uh, most rushes tend to get killed by head bleachers and obviously um, all the maps were created by a pro player so head glitching is 
this is everywhere pretty much in Black Ops 2. So keep in mind that if you camp, there's a good chance you'll get your kill streaks. But also rushing is more fun. So do what you um, do what you have to do to get your kill streaks. Next up is your mindset. Um, a relaxed gamer is a better gamer, in my opinion, because if you're relaxed, or you won't take, you won't do stupid things like run out in the middle of nowhere and get picked off by a sniper or something. So, if you're angry, raging, you'll just do stupid things. So, if you're angry, just turn off your PS3 or your Xbox, go on your laptop, and watch YouTube videos. Just relax, and you'll be a better player overall. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it, that's how I get my kill streaks, so good luck, have fun with your high kill streaks. Dropped up. Securing Charlie. Python 1 1. Bangs out. Securing Charlie. Contact Shot out. Charlie secure. He's done.
securing Charlie. Contact your mark. Tally. Heading to initiation point. 